here's a video review for Iron Factory's IFEX03, the Armed Intelligence Squad, Sonatech and Fellows. Uh, it comes with Sonatech, Leo Treble, and Base Rhino. Uh, it comes in a window box, doop -a -doo, uh, just like that. It also includes in his uh, package, this is his actual pistol. Uh, I've got his Gatlings on for his alt mode. And it also comes with a couple more of these things that uh, I do like. I love the concept of these. Uh, it, and, and I guess it's nice that they include them pretty much with everything they've released so far. Because um, if you don't have any of the other figures, these are cool little weapons packs to have. Um, I've got like 12 of them now. And that is a lot. Um, you also get a couple of these bigger guns. So you can arm yourselves in many ways. You can use these pistols with a lot of other figures. And uh, that's nice. Again, I'm not going to cover those. I've covered those in like three or four reviews now because they come with everything. So we're just going to focus on these guys right here. Now, uh, before we get into their alt modes, uh, let's actually let's just cover Sonatech first, who is obviously their version of Blaster. Uh, this is based on, I think, his alt mode from the Blaster Spotlight. From IDW, it's kind of a tankish thing, kind of. Uh, it's one of those. It's a tank because we say it's a tank, but it's really accurate to the source material. So, uh, oh well. Um, but it's you know it's the same good quality plastic that Iron Factory has had, and he's a cool little tank. Um, he transforms. There's a little bit of automorph in the knees. I uh, bring his legs down, or I'm pick his arms here. Bring his legs down, and his knee pads actually fold up. And even going back the other way, they kind of auto fold down most of the way. We'll go ahead and pull these Gatling guns off. So bring that down, open up his feet. Uh, there you go, he's got front, he's got toes and heels. And then rotate his legs around here at the waist. Uh, and his whole upper body flips over. Bring his arms down, rotate them around to the front, pull the shoulder pads down. Like that. And what's cool is they actually integrated, like, he doesn't, he can't actually launch cassettes, obviously, but his chest door opens to allow you to flip his head up. Now, his head sits in there very uh, tightly, uh, but there's a peg hole here on the back. You can push his gun through to pop his head up if you're having trouble getting it up. Or take Viagra. Um, so, anyway, uh, there he is in <laughs> robot mode. And uh, straighten up his kneecaps. And, again, good solid plastic. He's got a ball-jointed head. Ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, no waist swivel, but ball jointed hips. They've got a thigh swivel, uh, the hinge knees, and then a little bit of movement in the feet there for transformation. Uh, the reason I, d I chose to transform him first into robot mode before I dealt with the other two is because before we turn these into their alt modes, oh, and he can hold his pistol, obviously. Or his rifle, whatever. His gun. Uh, and you, you can attach these to the back of his arms as well if you want to give him some extra weaponry. Is because, uh, like I said, these two guys, before we do anything else with them, you can actually take this, uh, take Leo Treble, fold his guns down, and he's got a couple pegs right here that peg in to Base Rhino, and then this little peg right here can flip up, and you can take Blaster, put him in a sitting position, and then this peg pegs into his back right here, it kind of gives him like a little control chair. It's called a control chair. And he can actually fit, again, I didn't bring in Generations Metroplex because hauling him around just to do a review is a little bit of a pain in the butt. He's huge. But uh, this little base, this little chair, control, control chair, can actually fit in that opening in Metroplex's chest, that little bay. So you can have him sitting in there, I guess, controlling things. But uh, yeah, Blaster comes with his own little throne made up of his minions. So if that's not service, I don't know what is. So yeah, the, the minions themselves, uh, obviously, uh, Steel Jaw and Ram Horn, respectively. They also, before you turn them into robots, you can flip this down, flip his tail out, which kind of looks like a gun barrel, rotate these guns like this, and these guys can become weapons also that uh, he can hold. They're a little oversized for him, but uh, <laughs> as you can see, uh, but he can hold them. Uh, and same with uh, Rhino Base here. Just flip his cannons around the other way and flip this peg up. And he can hold him as a weapon as well. I think you have to straighten his arm to get him to hold this guy. But again, those are 5mm pegs, so even though they're a little big for 
Sonic Tech, uh, you can have larger characters hold them, like the Iron Factory Ultra Magnus. Overlord can probably hold them, and any, any deluxe figure with a 5mm peg can hold these guys as weapons. Uh, the weapons can also, you can unpeg these. You can see that you can peg these into, uh, is it this way? Yeah, you can peg these into his gun to give him even more firepower. Uh, and then you can take his weapons if you want and peg them onto the outside of that. So you can give him a, me a mega cannon here uh, like that by plugging each of those into either side. Again, anything bigger than his, his actual included pistol looks a little ridiculous. The, the uh, Gatling guns on the back of his arms or in his hands look okay. But you can see, like, this blaster is just a little big for him. So, yeah, flip these forward. Uh, flip up his rhino head here. And then the treads fold down to form legs. And you can move that whole piece forward. Again, gotta gotta flip his legs down to get at these figures uh, back here on the back. Uh, fold up his peg, flip out his tail, grab his thinkamajinker, by which I mean his leg. We call those thinkamajinkers now. Here in the future, um, and there's base rhino, and then Leo Trouble. Uh, flip his guns forward again. Now, the instructions show that this, his lion head folds further down than this. How did you get over there? Um, but uh, it can't. Like, it physically can't because the, the pin that holds uh, his mane in place is there. So, like, I'm not sure how they're getting this. The inst and the instructions, his lion head is folded all the way up in there. And it's just not possible. Um, he, what's also cool is he does have an opening jaw. So... But yeah, flip his head out, kind of flip his mane down and flip his head out a little bit. Gives him his mane some definition. Uh, he does, His legs transform. They're different molds, but they transform the same as base rhinos. Uh, bring those feet down. Same with his rear legs. Bring them down. Aim his guns forward. Uh, bring them down. And then he has a pair of wings here that are... A bit difficult to get to. Uh, you flip his wings up. And there is Leo Treble. Open up his mouth, give him his little mane. He's a little lion. Da, da, da. So yeah, it's a good, fun little set. Um, I'm, I'm big into the Iron Factory stuff. They're, they're good, solid quality plastic. They're small. Um, I, I'm kind of digging this scale line, DX9's uh, War and Pocket series, uh, Iron Factory's little guys. Um, I really like the because uh, they're 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 very charismatic. You know, they they've got a lot of personality to them. They're well constructed and they're just fun little figures that you know it's easy to throw one in a pocket or carry more than one with you. Uh, I can't wait for that Overlord. I'm gonna buy like. 20 overlords when he comes out <laughs> but uh but yeah they're good solid little figures and just as a quick size comparison here he is with uh the iron factory ultra magnus that came out recently city commander um this is the original version there is the cartoon color or toy colors version uh there's one with the red legs and a slightly different paint colors on it uh in a different blue uh that's i think just came out i haven't i haven't gotten it um will i get it i don't know because i like this one but we'll see um but yeah, just to give you an idea of how big he is with other Iron Factory figures. Uh, here he is with the Legends class Rodimus. Uh, again, just to give you an idea with a main retail figure. I see you under there. Niblet's here at work with me tonight. So yeah, anyway, there is Iron Factory's EX-03 Sonic Tech and Fellows Armed Intelligence Squad set. Definitely worth picking up. I got it from TF Source. It's in stock there right now. Uh, and if you're collecting this scale of figures... These guys are great. I love the little animal companions.